Welcome to the MindView Quick Start video. The purpose of this video is to get you started right away and takes only a few minutes to view. Start by selecting which map view you want to work in. The map views are interchangeable and the way we create branches is the same in all views. We're going to start by making a mind map. Using MindView is very easy. All you have to do is learn a couple of shortcuts. Start by entering a subject. In this case, we are brainstorming an agenda for a meeting, so my subject title will be Agenda. To create branches, simply hit the Enter key. To make more branches at the same level, keep pressing the Enter key. To insert sub-branches, simply press the Insert key. At the sub-level, you can again create branches at the same level by using the Enter key. If you cannot remember how to insert branches, you can always right-click a branch and insert branches under the Insert menu. Branches can easily be deleted by selecting them and then using the Delete key. Now let's go ahead and make some main branches. Let's start with a branch for Introduction. Then we'll make one for Topic 1, Topic 2, Updates, and then Closing Remarks. Now what we're going to do is insert a sub-branch under the Introduction branch. Simply select the Introduction branch. You can do this with the mouse or by simply moving the arrow keys on your keyboard. The point is to mostly use the keyboard as it makes the program fast and efficient to work with. Then press the Insert key. We're going to be inserting a branch called Purpose and Goals for Meeting. We're also going to be making some sub-branches for Topic 1. So let's move down to the Topic 1 branch. First branch we're going to make is Overview, then Financial, then Discussion, and then Planning. Branches can easily be copied, so we are copying the sub-branches for Topic 1 over to Topic 2. Simply select the branches you want to copy, and then hit Control c on your keyboard. And then select which main branch you want to paste them on, as in Topic 2 in this case. And then hit Control v to paste. Lastly, we are inserting a couple of branches under Closing Remarks. Again, select Closing Remarks and then press the Insert key. Let's make the branches Minutes and then Next Meeting. The main benefit of making mind maps on a computer is that it's easy to reorganize ideas. For instance, if the update main branch should be a sub-branch to introduction, you can simply drag and drop the branch to its desired location. Notes can easily be made to each idea by opening up the text editor. To do so, go up to the Insert tab and then roll over to Text Note. And the Text Note editor is launched. Here is where you can type any note that you want to be associated with that branch. Once you're done writing the text, click outside the text editor and the associate text to the branch is indicated by a paperclip. You can leave the text editor open to quickly take more notes on other branches or simply close it and use it on an as-needed basis. Now to make your mind map more visually appealing, you can easily insert pictures on your branches. You can use pictures from the built-in multimedia catalog where you can search for relevant pictures you may want to use. Once found, all you have to do is simply drag and drop that image onto the respective branch. Alternatively, you can use your own images as well. Simply go up to the Insert tab, find the branch picture icon, and select the image from your own files. 
MindView also allows you to attach any type of file to your branches, and there is no limit to the amount of files that can be attached. This enables the user to elaborate on ideas, and these attachments can be executed directly from the mind map. Simply select the branch you want to attach a file to, and click the attachment icon in the menu. This is how you find and attach any file that you want to your branch. If you roll over the paper clip, not only will you see the attachment there, but you can also launch that exact file from this location. One of the great features with the Office 2007 interface is the Design tab, wherein you can change the global look and feel of your map instantly. You can start by selecting different layouts. While doing this, you get a live preview before you apply the layout. Also, you can then select between different styles to your map. You can then continue customizing the map by, for instance, changing branch shapes, color schemes, or inserting a background pattern. To insert a background color, go up to Properties, then down to Page Pattern, and then pick any background that you want. Now to customize a single branch, simply select that branch and go to the Format ribbon, where, for example, you can select another branch shape. In general, you've noticed that we've referred to the above ribbon to access different menus and commands to make it easier for users to find and execute. This layout is useful in keeping your workspace clear of distractions and making you really focus on the task at hand. One of the most powerful features in MindView is the integration with Microsoft Office and the exports in general. Before exporting, it's important to understand how the branches are exported. Branches are exported in a clockwise fashion, starting with the upper right corner and going clockwise. This is best illustrated by activating the Numbers scheme. When exporting the Word, each branch becomes a heading in Word, and the sub-branches, subheadings, etc. Notes that you've taken using the text editor for branches become text for that branch or heading in Word. You can export the Word by simply selecting the Home button, then Export, then Word Export, now under the Advanced Word Export, this is where it's beneficial to select one of the predefined, customizable templates. Now you want to save this document somewhere on your computer. And remember that the order of your branches will now determine how they are exported and displayed in Word. Now you can see how easily your mind map has just converted over to an official Word document. As I scroll down, notice how a table of contents has been built for us, and also how all of the notes I wrote and documents I attached are included in this document. When exporting the mind map to PowerPoint or a website, the branches are converted as slides in the same clockwise order, and attachments to branches will be placed on the respective branches when exported. You can also import from Word and PowerPoint and other applications. This ends the quick start. More tutorials can be found on our website, www.matchware.com. Enjoy!